What it do? Everybody, welcome to the Dr. Crip Show. I got it on the road right now. I'm going to see uh, a good friend of mine who uh, who got interest in the show. But I just wanted to uh, come on and because I don't do much of the car stuff. I, people be asking me to go, you know, when you on the when you move and do stuff too, because you might remember something or or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, you know what, you are right. So I was like, let me go ahead and hit you with Dr. Crip on the move. Uh, some Dr. Crip thoughts for you right now, because you know when God enters your life and He got a plan for you. No matter what it is, <laughs> no matter what it is that's going on in that last month or two or whatever it is, you you know, it's going to be raining, hectic, it's going to be all that. But because you are a solid warrior for God, because you know he got warriors too. <laughs> he got warriors. I'm like, oh, I'm just, a, I'm a warrior. I'm gonna be on the front line. Go. <laughs> so it made me think like, you know, like you, everything that happened to you, man, listen, the last month I was fight. I didn't squabble to, I was busting homies out. You a snitch, you ain't even supposed to be over here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this dude uh, killed a homie, you know, because he got paid. Uh, you know, I broke up the dice game. Focus. Hey, man, this, these, everybody, all these weirdos is it in the park right now. Woo, woo. And I'm busting this snitch out. Uh, uh, this dude uh, is on something, you know, and the homies is not really... They mind is not really focused on what's going because they don't have nothing to do with that era. They wasn't around. They don't have nothing to do with it. But at the same token, when y'all saying that, some of the snitches is over here paying y'all low key. So y'all do got something to do with it. You just don't want to admit it. And you're not looking at it from that point of view. This dude is helping y'all, uh, and but he filed. And I understand you getting some some, some type of PPP, EDD, whatever y'all got going on. But when it comes to the dude plotting on another homie, that's where that gap is at. So you ask yourself, like, so, because people want to know, my family, everybody, you know, so, like, why did they shoot you? And you are a goon from 9-0. Why did they shoot you? Because I never should have been a gang member. I can admit that. Because people always told me, man, you wise, you sharp, man. You be doing a lot, man. Woo. You should I never should have been over there. But see, that's gang addiction mental disorder. So it was never cured. Because if they shot you, and you not a snitch. Everybody know you not a snitch. I'm the one who busts snitches out. Everybody mad at me is a snitch. Uh, or you deal with them or <laughs> you got, you know, or you got some money and you think you can do what you want to do. And no, you can't. I don't care about that neither. So if you go both ways like that, why did they shoot you? That's because gangs are dysfunctional. There's no loyalty in that. There's no reward in that. There's nothing in that. The only thing you can get out of, of being in a gang is disappointment. Now, it may not happen to you per se because your gang life was different and the people around you were different. Y'all little unit, y'all whoever, you know, made it through, you know, but at what cost? Did you have to put some fingers on somebody here and there? Like, man, go ahead and chip him. You know, all that is going to cost at some point down the line. We may not never see it physically with our eyes, but the torment could be unbearable after you go. 
where your soul going. So, you know, you got to ask yourself, they shot this dude and he a goon over there. He ain't snitch. He ain't never turned down no fate. Ain't scared to nab over there. Why did they shoot him? So you must think that this dude operated by himself, this young dude. So that should open the eyes of somebody else that's five years older than him. That you think you he, oh, you supposed to be his G? Oh, yeah. Hey, okay. Well, psych him out and see what happened. He going to be plotting in the back of his mind. Nigga, I'm going to kill you. Because you ain't got no squabble like that. Because we didn't hear about you in the county. So I already know you ain't got no squabble like that. So, oh, some you keep or oh, somebody put their na your name got your name in their mouth. That's what they do. They start killing the, the the older homies or whatever homie that got the name got your name in their mouth. So that means that's dysfunctionality. You can be on this hood for four five years and get the power to do that. That means this is d dysfunctional. But what I'm saying is that God. No matter what he put on you, all that pressure. Listen, man, let me tell you something. And them last, that last, I don't know what it is. That last, I just say within the last six months, up until that shooting, the last six months or something like that, up until, up until the shooting, man, Niggas didn't dope me. <laughs> I didn't have to sock out <laughs> uh, a weirdo, you know, uh, because he don't understand the way games work, you know, um, all kind of stuff. I didn't want to fight. They was pressuring me to fight. <laughs> like, you the one who made this rule, so you... <laughs> Because he kept calling me out and I kept turning it down. Because I was fresh out the shower. And I was on my way to get some pussy. I was clean. Man, I was so I was super clean. I was like, man, I ain't gotta fight you. Bro, I don't have to fight you. Who are you? You a goofy. I don't gotta fight you. And he was a little drunk. So I'm like, man. Oh my God, it got to going around. A couple of the homies find out. Man, you want me to come up there and squab them? Nah, man, you shouldn't have to fight this dude. <laughs> he didn't already got punched on uh, a few times. Don't you? You got to. Why you not fighting? Looking for the other dude that didn't already dope fiend you and socked you out and stumped you out. You on me. And I'm way above you, you know? I, I, it, it was just all kind of chaotic stuff happening, man, in that last six months. Then a dude dofing me. Who's the, who's the nut? I know all about you. You a buster. I'm like, who are the people telling you that? They didn't, we didn't, we, uh, he's saying, uh, they didn't already told me. You a buster. You a hook. You a mark. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? And then when I ain't looking, he Dolph took my eyes off of him for a hot second. You ain't supposed to do that. When you're in a heated argument with somebody, you ain't never supposed to take your eyes off of him. I took my eyes off of him for a few seconds, but that's God. He don't care about none of that because he already know what's going to happen next. Because you, this is you on your way out. All this stuff that's happening to you is your exit plan. You about to make a strong exit. So go over there and ask any from now. You know, what are you talking about? Them last six months was hectic. And can't no average person would it be able to handle all that? Not from now, you know. Been folded. Long time ago. Broke down everything. So the dude don't feed me. Knocked me out. The homies ran over there, had to pick me up, asked me. Oh, you okay? You what's happening? Nut, get up. You straight? Woo, woo. They set me in the car. I'm a, I already know I ain't got Dolphin. This dude Dolphin. I'm like, I'm. They don't. <laughs> I'm like, keep him here. Don't let that nigga leave. He ain't knowing this. He don't know this. So I'm like, okay. I 
I tried to get back out there too fast. I wanted to, the homie say, no, you ain't ready, nut. No, you're not ready. He said, take some few more minutes, homie. All right. I do my ABCs. Forward and backwards. When I finish backwards, I jumped up like, man, what's happening? I'm ready to get this in. And he was in the middle of woofing. Nigga, we'll get, get. <laughs> and the homie said, hey, you doing all that woofing? Cause the nut ready to go. You dope fiend him. He, he, he need that. He turned around and looked. And I guess he must have still thought that I was affected from that blow or whatever. What? As soon as the homie said, get it in. I, you feel me? Wham! Ran straight up in there. All face. Boom, 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 Bam! Trying to kick him all in the face while he's on the ground. They trying to break it up. That process went on for the rest of the night. Until the nigga that dope fiend me knocked me out, threw up the blue flag and said, I don't want no more. What? <laughs> now the rest of the night, I'm trying to get my Dauphine back. That's all I want back is my Dauphine. I'm trying to catch him and everybody keep catching me. <laughs> the closest I got, I had a cool one. As soon as I went to Dauphine, I had a cool one. He didn't even see it coming. And I went for it and somebody hooked me with a hook arm and was like, no, just like, no, didn't say nothing that hooked me. <laughs> It was somebody out there <laughs> that that didn't want to see it happen because if I would have got it like that, they knew what I was going to do because every time I dropped him, I dropped him like five times after that, right? So every time I dropped him, I'm trying to kick him in the face the whole nine. I'm getting into it when I don't get right <laughs> No, one of my little homies, he's like, I know, I know you're gonna, I'm just trying to play it off. <laughs> I'm like, man, it ain't, I'm trying to stump this thing out. I created a rule that night. You can't leave after you get Dauphine. If somebody come in the hood and knock you out, you get slept right there. You're not, al you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> you, cannot, <laughs> you can't leave now. I made that rule, rule, uh, rule up, So, but I'm a snitch. I can't believe this. Yeah, it was all kind of stuff going on right up until that time I got shot. So, you know, I, um, I just, it's all God because nobody was going to be able to walk that mile like that. That's why he using me for what he using me for. Whether the homies understand it or not, it's a different thing. And I told you, I'm ready. So I, you, you can't kill me. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> the only thing you can do is get out. And trust me, I am going to slang him. <laughs> so it's God, man. So when you're going through something, and it, it's raining like that, cause it rained every single way. When I left the 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 little my, that little the bracket that's out there right now, that that um, that's in that game banging, that the ones how uh, because that's what's gonna happen to you because people know y'all just park cribs. So that's why they write all over the whole neighborhood. You feel me? You know, y'all not finna sit out there in your sickness and wait for people and do all that type of stuff. Y'all not y'all not built like that. You feel me? Y'all y'all think that y'all entitled. You know, you how, what is an entitled gang member? I don't have to go do nothing. I just hope <laughs> till something happens or whatever. You know, so. It's really sad. It's dysfunctional. I'm surprised it's still standing after the shooting of me like that. But it's like, no, you you weren't the glue to the 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 fabric. Not you're not the glue. But I was a stitch, and I'm starting to believe that I was one of the first or two stitches 
see that start unraveling your, you know, when it seemed together, that first stitch or two, you know, because of who I am and how long I've been over there and what I've done to help homies or do everything. So not you in the first generation to know. We, I, I'm not, I'm not talking about it like that. You have to understand because now people, other gangs, allies, everybody, they have to sit back and look like, wait a minute. Y'all let this fool shoot nut? Oh, okay. Got to worry about it. You have to think. You have to think like your enemy. You have to think like your ally. It's a bad look. But that's what gangs is. And it's going to happen. In every gang. Eventually. So... You know, that's why you shouldn't let your kids game bang. There should be no more Crips, no more Bloods right now. So, you know, this is just a Dr. Crip moment. I wanted to express that because it was somebody had asked a couple of comments. So, you know, um, I wanted to let people know that. So this is Dr. Crip. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, man. Happy New Year. Stay out of trouble. Stay focused and all that good stuff. Yeah.